Here we are then, chapter three. I think this might be a new one, actually. My parents' old house, where Emma and I decided to move, hides more secrets than I could imagine. Under one of the floorboards in the attic, I discovered a hidden journal from one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the chilling passages describe real-life events, or if they're just mad ravings made up by this Nicholas person. Well, let's see. Yeah, finally, something new. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Right. Okay. Uh, this is a room I've never seen before. <laughs> uh, okay, she's on the first floor, is she? Meaning somewhere up here? That's a lot. So is that. Uh, I don't suppose we need to worry about finding any oil and matches and stuff in the 1970s, do we? Ooh, lovely. Probably shouldn't throw that around, but never mind. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what we do have access to. What's this? Oh, the invoice. That's right, for the moving service. Great. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to find anything. Especially since we've just moved in, right? I mean, there's probably not going to be things cluttering the drawers. There you go, there's the toolbox. So, uh... I'm sorry, my Britishism came out there. First floor means down here, doesn't it? Oh, dear. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma! <laughs> I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? Engrossed. I around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. <laughs> this place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? The royal we, I take it. Ah, oh dear. She does like to lead from behind, doesn't she? Okay, go to the basement. Will do. Can I use this door? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, it's already open. What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. <laughs> you know, that sounds oddly specific. Did you? Maybe he did. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mum spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Alright. And what's this? Oh. Thank God I can work remotely now, so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. <laughs> I, I don't think there is a, a put down gently button, is there? So I just gotta throw everything. Right, yes, the electricity's out. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. It is. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. True. And there's also that axe. You hear that, Emma? There's also an axe. <laughs> yes. Right, so just need to give this another pull. And that comes down. There we are. Okay. Is it where I left it? Or maybe it's back up in the uh, in the trunk up there. Right, a flashlight. Got to be honest, I don't remember seeing one. Oh, am I grabbing something? Oh, I'm trying to. There we are. Right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Rotate to find the hidden message. Of course, next to the arse. Wait, is that blood or paint? Oh. Might be blood. I guess we'll have to ask Nicholas. Okay. Yeah, there's all sorts around here. Like, virtually everything you see can be interacted with in some way, shape, or form. Is that it? There we are. It's got a very powerful bulb, apparently. Okay. Let's go down. <laughs> Let's go down without breaking your neck, preferably. Emma, want to join me? No, you just want to stare wistfully out the window. Okay. 
I guess she's pregnant, right? That's her excuse. <laughs> so, is it F? I think it should be F. Or maybe I can't use it when I don't need to. I definitely need to. There we are. <gasps> God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Silly little statue. Or carving, or whatever this, this is. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. No, I think there's going to be other things that do that, to be honest. Ooh. Maybe I'll save that for later. Was this one of the options on the table in that beginning cutscene? Yeah, maybe I'll... I'll make sure I, I keep that for later. Right, so... She was right. The lights do not work. I bet it's chiming has startled many people. It certainly did. <laughs> Wait, there's another one. Oh man, I've got choices. Again, later, later. It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. There you go. It doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. Perhaps. Perhaps. Nice. Um, let's Earth see. Earth fuses. Well, that looks promising. Hmm. Well, we've got a key. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? The key to the shed. It looks very fragile. Right, the, the same shed? Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Maybe. Hmm, okay. Strange. Was it Nicholas that blocked that up? Maybe. Anyway, yeah, let's go see if we can find that fuse. Together, Emma. Yeah. Come on, Emma. Never mind. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why the axe gets involved. Right. Well, I don't know if it's exactly the same shed, but... It hasn't really moved. That barn has. Oh, you know what? It actually might be. The gate's fallen to pieces. I don't suppose we can sort of vault over. Is there another way in? Here we are. Hey. I really do like the way this game looks as well. It runs pretty beautifully too. Do I need to find bolt cutters again? I'm looking around for them. Probably not. There we are. Bloody footprints. Yeah. No fuses here, of course. What the f... Okay, that looks familiar. I think Nicholas saw the same thing. What is this? Where did all the blood come from? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? What's this? Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Uh, I don't know. A <laughs> so what? A quantum localizer. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust that the author knew what he was talking about. Nothing on the back. Okay, yeah. Um, I can't make much sense of it either, honestly, but I'm going to take it either way. Here it is. It can analyze so-called quantum traces, which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. Okay. Odd thing to find. Ooh, Pizza Brothers! <laughs> it's a me. Oh man, there's so many options! Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? No. I don't think so. Oh, there we are. Left mouse. Left mouse, okay. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Uh, Wait, what did they say in training? Well, uh, I, I, I have no idea. This is very, very strange. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. 
If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who was here in a different time. I see. So I think I'm looking in the right direction because I don't see any of the, the black bars at the top or the bottom. Right, okay. Well, let's put this away. It looks like it's going to be somewhere in that direction. I, honestly, I wasn't really expecting something like this from this game. <laughs> but here we are. I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go and the numbers the distance to the right. nearby cloud. So I'm heading right for it. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud. And okay. Scan it. The localizer. It, the localizer found something apparently. Yeah, I'm just trusting that this device isn't going to kill us. Uh, yes. Found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All oh, right. Covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. This is mental. <laughs> Oh, hold on, there's actually maybe a, another one in this direction? Maybe inside the house somewhere. Yeah. Although, hang on, what was it? Zero percent, so I'm not too the close. Is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood and a trace of a person near the shed. It's right. looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. Ah. Oh. I was just going to say, you need to come look at this shit. Look at what I got. <laughs> oh. 8%. Oh, it's not inside the house. It's through the house. It's over here somewhere. We're getting closer. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible. Otherwise, I won't see a thing. Here we are. I think I've got it. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. Destroy the fire. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Uh, <laughs> this thing is definitely going to get us killed. Forget about like Cold War stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. So detect and uh, destroy anomalies. Okay. Hit it with an EMP charge fired from your device. Okay. Oh, I, I see. There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with the Oh, anomaly. there it is. Okay, right. So that's the thing that needs to be hit. That should do it. Time to stabilize the cloud. <laughs> what the... Seriously, what the hell? It feels like I'm playing a different game now. But, all right. Sure. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so the anomaly is done. Now I just need to stabilize this. Clearly, someone was here recently and used this rope. Oh, okay. Find more traces. Right. Let's have a look at the rope if I can. Oh, it's not just a rope; it's a grappling hook as well. Very useful in the field. I'll take your word for it. So that wait, there's more. We're going over there. Looks like we're going over there. Localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. Yeah, all right. That way. Looks like it. And this is an area of the map that I never explored in the beta or the demo, really. What's this? Oh, it's a ladder, I think. Or half of a ladder. And there we are. That's the thing I need to scan, right? It must have went up from here. Okay. Oh. Sure. This game's just throwing different mechanics at me now. I quite like this. Uh... Okay, that w that was pitiful. Maybe second time lucky. There we are. Give it, whoa. <laughs> Give it a pull and try not to knock yourself out. Uh, okay, do I... Oh, I've still got it, it looks like. I guess I made copies. Um, here we are then. Yep, let's keep following the signal. So, is this Nicholas that I'm following now? So much blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. I see. Can- ah, there it is. Clearly dragged something heavy through that gate. Hmm. 
It's weird that we can see him, but not the thing he was dragging, but... Okay, find another way. This isn't gonna Damn, work. The gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. I should have looked for those bolt cutters. <laughs> uh, around here then, right? It's gotta be. God, it's weird. I like it though. I'm liking it. Can I get rid of this? Some planks are ah. loose. I'll try to break them out. There we are. Oh. oh! Wow. That must have been really rotten. I mean, that was a lot easier to do that than, uh, you know, crowbar up that floorboard. What are we getting? Nothing? Okay, we're not close enough. Up and over, yeah. Right, I guess this is still the tutorial. We're getting taught how to jump. Man. That way? Where was the gate? It was like down there somewhere, right? So. Ooh. The blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Still nothing on the uh, quantum localizer thing. Looks like I found where the barn moved to. I guess let's go check it out. Oh. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. Find the boat cutters. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in. Yes, let's stabilize the anomalies, I guess. Oh, um... We're very, very close. Ah, over there? Or, or through there? I can see something. I don't know if I can scan it from here, though, can I? Let's go in. Can we go in? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can jump, but I don't think I can climb. Can we go around again? Maybe. Yeah, I do seem to like going around things. Going away from it, I suppose. It's still over there. I know where it is. So what's this? Oh, very nice. And this was a gift? Man, I've never gotten a gift like this. Up there? That looks promising. What's up with the box? Oh. Oh, maybe <laughs> maybe we need to use the box. I was thinking there might be something underneath it. There we are. There we go. Yeah, when in doubt, just go around. <laughs> so, pretty close. Let, oh shit! Don't break this thing. This is uh, this is pretty cool. There it is, right next to the hay. I'm getting it now. But, but, okay, it's we've got an anomaly that's moving. Where is it? It, <laughs> it's on top of the damn thing. Oh. Oh, long range shot. Looks like we got two more. Is, oh, Christ, there's one there. Was that a hit? I think that was a hit. There we go. There you are. Okay. Right, uh, I think I'm done playing Space Invaders now. Let's see. Who is he? Oh, what did he hide here? Wait. Oh no, I, I see something. What is it? Oh, a oh. hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it just in case. Again, I think that might be what we saw in that opening cutscene. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. Yes. There you go, he's in that right mentality. Just go around! Find the side entrance! 
Forget about going through the front door. Well, it looks like there's not a side entrance here. Uh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I suppose. I can. Yeah, cut it. Oh, no. I'm getting flashbacks to uh, Home Sweet Home. Although that was actually easier. Right. Okay, well, that side doesn't really help, so maybe the other side? I need to try to get inside. I know, really. I'm on top of this, or at least I, I think I am. Yeah, certainly. Just cut straight through the knot. Oh, there you go. Rapid. But <laughs> having a little bit of trouble actually grabbing the gate, though. That's the hard bit. Okay. Have I still got... I've still got the grappling hook, right? I mean, I, I might need to use it. Yeah, I just pull it out when I need to. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Great. Yeah, I like this a lot. Alright. That's going to give way, isn't it? No, it didn't. What is that? A stag? A deer? Elk? A baby moose? No, I don't think it's a baby moose. Down here. Yeah. God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher. More like a fucking sadistic hunter. Well, it... Is there a bomb Wait, inside the deer? Beeping. It's as if it's coming from... The inside. Leave. The hung up on a rope. Leave. <laughs> Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. There's a bomb in the deer. We've got to go. This barn's not going to be sticking around for long. Uh, okay. Oh, right. There we are. Still got the grappling hook? Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, no. Come on. Higher. Got it. Oh. And I pulled it away this time. Seriously? Okay, there's got to be another box or something, right? Something else I can drag. Maybe I could use some of these wheels. Or... Oh! Oh! Oh, hey! Bolt cutters! Oh, they were inside all along. <laughs> um... Wasn't I saying earlier that pretty much everything you can see you can interact with? Well, not in here, apparently. Can I grab the antlers and pull it? No. Oh. Here we are. Nice. Ooh. Okay, perfect. There's the box. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. Nothing else in here? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Okay. Come on. There we go. I'm, <laughs> I'm somehow doing it through the door. Don't question it. Just observe and appreciate that I did it. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty heavy thing. Covered in bloody footprints, of course, as well. And a handprint. There you are. I really don't like the beeping, so I should probably address that as fast as possible. Over there. There we go. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to make it, then. Maybe the beast inside the beast is a bomb. Aha. Uh -huh. Still got the knife, of course. Okay. Right, well, I, I haven't exploded, so that's got to be a good sign, right? That's better. Right. Uh, go on. Just get in there. Pull it all out. Just not wires. If you find wires, leave them in. Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. Yeah. I can understand that. I gotta imagine the smell isn't great either. What? That's just a... 
Well, there's a fuse and what, what was that other thing? It looked like a shotgun shell. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there is the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. <laughs> Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I, I'd completely forgotten about the fuse. I thought there was going to be something Since much worse than that. Deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Since when did that open? I thought that was locked up. I... <laughs> spooky. Very spooky. Okay. Yes, back to the basement. Anything on this? No, no. That was wild. That was not what I was expecting to find. Okay, yeah, anyway, back to the basement. Yeah, <laughs> there's an electricity issue, isn't there? Man, okay. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. As you do. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, you never know. Okay. Uh, is there a more delicate way down? That looks like a long drop. And, you know, I've only got so many knees. Okay. Again. Okay, yeah, I just needed to check that you didn't break this, because this seems to be, like... Pretty important, like maybe one of a kind. Anyway, there's the house. Right. Where's Emma? You're not gonna believe what I've been up to, seriously. Maybe it was her. Maybe it was all some really strange, twisted prank. But I doubt it very much. I guess she's around somewhere. Maybe she's taking another shower. Anyway. Let's get the electricity back on, shall we? Uh, might want to pull out that flashlight if you've still got it. There we are. Yeah, you're not going to be haunting my dreams. Right. So let's see, is there a puzzle involved or is it just put it in? Okay. The power's back on, I guess. I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. <laughs> well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? Ooh, I dread to think. But I don't think she's actually going to make it that far. Because there's an axe with her name on it. So, first floor, yeah? Meaning the ground floor. Boo! Jesus, woman! <laughs> you want me to have a heart attack? <laughs> cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. <laughs> Clever. Great. You, you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? <laughs> Where do we start? Where do we start? Sometime later. Okay, maybe I don't have to do this. Box full of cash? Where'd you get that? Would I just leave it down there? There's someone around. Oh, I hide it. I have to remind you what the doctor said. Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Critically pregnant. Oh dear, I'm locked in. I'm stuck. Don't you dare. No, I do have to paint the wall. Right, okay. If I can't oh. help you, I'll pester you ah. with questions. Have they called you from work yet? <laughs> no. Oh, that's and better. did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? Like painting? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like 
What? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of We got of a miles. tray around here. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. This role is incredible. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? Right. I, I honestly have no idea how there's that much paint on that thing. What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? Oh! There's something behind it. I thought you were bowing to the sun god. Okay, you get that side, I get this one. What is that? Uh, let's move left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. God, now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. <laughs> I'd hang you first. I believe it. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. Okay. A few days later. Not a few days later, but just, you know, a few days later. Sure. Alright. Wait. Which room is this? Shit, it's probably from the office. Oh no, you didn't. That's where we found the painting, right? So I painted the walls and then you just wallpapered over them? Okay. It, it could have been like a primer or something or something awaiting wallpaper, but still. My hard work! It's, it's going unnoticed. Man. Oh god, it's the 70s. Oh dear. Wait, can I... Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, here we are. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought... Maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I didn't <laughs> call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately. Seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck, o on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. Right. Sounds like I've got some work to do. There goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. Ooh. President Carter's speech, entitled Crisis of Identity, was concluded with a reflection concerning the Soviets. Their most powerful weapon is not the atom bomb, but a unique capacity to drive other nations into madness and chaos. Carter believes that at this stage of the Cold War, our nation needs unity more than anything else. Because our enemy's only chance is in making Americans doubt their government and all the values that this country has been built upon. In other news, the St. Louis Cardinals won yesterday's game at the Memorial Stadium. Great. That's what I tuned in for. I just wanted to know how the Cardinals did. Okay, so, office. Um, well, let's see. Can we just have a little look around? Ah, well, not in the basement, that's locked up now, but yeah, let's see, you know, how I've, uh, or oh, sorry, how we've decorated the place. Oh. No, or maybe not. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of locked doors. Um, okay, this looks fairly nice. 
Yeah, that ain't bad, actually. Uh, so the kitchen, can we go in there at all? No, okay. But this room, my lovely white paint. How could you? I have to say this is probably an improvement, but... <laughs> is this the office? It looks office-like. What have we got here? Uh, to learn about... Oh, uh, there we are. To learn about famous cryptanalysts from around the world, you have to know the basics of code-breaking yourself. Can you decode all the names we have hidden here? Numbers correspond to individual people. Use Caesar's disk. Oh, we've... I guess we've still got that. Will I accept the challenge? Um... Yeah, okay, so you just pick one, follow the line, and then you have to just make N equals Q or C equals O, then just put that in and see what you come up with, I suppose. I'll leave that for you guys. Although I suppose you'll need the disc, won't you? So, <laughs> I suppose if you want to do it, let's, uh, let's get the disc back and look at that. There we are. There we are. So that's what the disc looks like. If you want to do that, go ahead. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh, wow. So, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Uh, okay. We actually have to do it? Uh, sure, alright, um... Open the top cover Open by the cover and oh, place the cylinders. Easy. Okay. The cylinders were marked with Roman numerals. Uh, okay, I, I think I'm just going to note this down so I don't have to keep referring to it. I've got a pen and paper with me. So, yeah. Cylinders. Two goes in position one. Four goes in position two. Five in three. Eight in four. And we close the cover. And then we have to set numbers in the windows. 2, 14, 6, 22. That's the start position. Okay, this seems quite in-depth. Okay. Open the bottom drawer of the device. Plug the wires in the drawer of the co Okay, we've got a, a configuration here. A, F, G, Z, R, T. Okay, and then we're done with the bottom drawer. Okay, so run it... <laughs> B, okay, BP flup should read as Friday, if I did that correctly, I suppose. Uh, really? Okay, that's got to be some strange configuration because the two P's don't both make R's or Y's. Uh, okay, well, there we are, and if you couldn't read that, there you go. Um, so let's see. For starters, I need to open the top cover. This being the top cover. I okay. Yep. Open it up. And this is where these need to cylinders take the right go. Cylinders from the table. Ah, okay. Luckily, they're numbered. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the Roman numerals. Um. So, we need number two. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Then we need number four. Okay. And then we need five, which is that one over there. It looks like. Okay, and then it's eight. This one down here, that goes there. So that's... That's that. So, okay, close this back okay. up. First part's done. Right. Now it's time to set the cogs. So we've got the numbers written down here, actually. So, two, four... Okay. Two... Twenty-six for each letter, I suppose. I see. Yeah, uh, okay, so fourteen. Six. And then there's 22. And Piece then I think, cake. yeah, we're done now with that. The last step, the wires at the bottom. Okay, so the bottom cover. Oh yeah. Right now, I just have to plug that in using the right order. Okay, so this is the AFGZ thing. Uh, okay, A. And then its partner has to go in F, I assume, which is over there. And G, Z, R and T. 
And then there's R. That's it. Okay. Now I just need to enter the password. Right. I just want to make sure I got this right. BP flop. <laughs> BP flop. Okay. So. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. And I don't really want to do that, so let's see. B. Comes up with an F, so I just write it down with pen and paper, I suppose. That's B. P. Where's P move to? Oh, it's down here. Oh, damn. Okay. Right. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. That wasn't it? Oh, no. Okay. That was kind of fun, I suppose. Oh. Right, so what does this mean? The fate of the world might depend on you. On me. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. I mean, this is kind of interesting, to be honest. So... What's this? It looks like a message. <laughs> What's this? An enigma. Maybe with the right combination, I'll be able to decipher it. Now, how do I set it up? A Roman 5, 3, ST. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean, though? And how can I use it to set Enigma up? Okay. So this is actually what's written down. And it's not V, it's it's a Roman 5, specifically, he said that. So I'm just going to note that down as well. So, Roman 5, 03ST. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's not click reset. Okay, so this. Maybe that person used my code table to encrypt the message. How can I guess which combination was used? Trial and error? <laughs> well, pro probably not. Let's see, though. Um, it, could it be row number five? Nah. Maybe it uses one of the rotors. You know, it uses five in one of the rotors. But there's loads that use five in one of the rotors. And zero, three. I'm seeing that quite often, actually, in um, the rotor offset. So I guess it could be one of those. What, what, ST? Let's look for ST in cables. So it's S to T, right? Uh, I'm not seeing it, to be honest. Maybe there's only one. Oh, no, I'm seeing one. Uh, 17 has ST in it. As does 25. Okay. Alright, I think it's just those two. So it could be 17 or 25. Let's see. So ST, yeah. Okay, so what about 03? 03 isn't used in 25. Is it used in 17? Oh, it is. Yeah, 519, 03. Yeah, okay. And then there's 10. And it also uses uh, the Roman oh, numeral 5, five cog three, thing. ST. Right. Hints from this piece of paper surely have something to do with the machine. Maybe the code table will tell me more. E uh, so... It seems to be set up correctly, but I think I want to delve in and change some of these rotors. I want to change some of the cogs, right? I guess that was just to check that the machine's working correctly, so okay. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look at this again. Um, so I'm gonna go with 17, okay? Let's just pull all these out. There we are. And let's start from left to right. Uh, so we're going to need number one. So this is number one. That's going to go there. And then we're going to need four. So that goes there. And then it's seven. That one there. That's in number three. And then it's five. He's not saying anything anymore to suggest that I did that right. But I hope I'm doing this right. I hope it is... Row 17. Close this up. Okay, so the numbers I think now should be 5, 19, 03, and then 10. So, right, now it's just linking the letters, I think. So let's go back down here. Again, let's just pull all these off. There we are. Okay, so S and T. It shouldn't really matter which one goes where, right? I mean, they're not that... They're, they're the same, so... Uh, G 
and Z again, it looks like. And then X and O. And there's X. Okay. Back. Okay, and now... The, well. Okay. Can I see that when I'm typing? Yeah, I can. Hopefully you can see it on the video as well. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Uh-huh, and then it's G. Uh-huh, okay. D, T, J, trust. I think we might be onto something, or that this is one hell of a coincidence. Of me, I know, it. I know I man, I'm doing five, it! You're doing it! Three, Why are you questioning yourself? Come on, XL. You've cracked way more complicated codes. Trust no. Must be in the table. Trust no one, maybe? C, C, M, H. Trust no one. Uh, A, Y... Y is down here for fucking some reason, uh... But, trust no one but... Yourself? Is that it? B, F... Y... D... And no one but yourself. Ha! I did it. Sounds ominous. Oh Ooh, no. Anyway. Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. So Still nothing. Fuck. What? <laughs> oh hey. I saw that playing as Nicholas, didn't I? This terrible crime shocked fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Yeah, that's Judge Norton, isn't it? Great, okay. Got a razor and... Oh! God, how long has this been here? Is this... blood? Or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost... Let me finish. It hurts, so I'm alive. Damn it, I almost broke my neck. He took me by surprise. I wasn't prepared at all for something like this. He didn't really look human up close. When he rushed at me, I felt all of his pain suddenly seep into me. I've never experienced anything like that. His gaze, like an abused animal's. That desperation in his eyes. I was so dumbstruck, I couldn't move. I wanted to scream, but I felt as if someone had ripped my vocal cords out. Who the hell is he? What is he doing in my father's bedroom? Let's find out. Right, again, this is new. I'm really enjoying this so far. Even the, uh, you know, the cryptography bit. I kinda hope we do that again. What is he doing in our house? Is he the one responsible for my father's disappearance? What if they're... in the basement? No. I'd rather not think of whose blood that was. Right. So that's my father's bedroom. That wasn't available to check out before, so let's take a look, shall we? And let's get some bloody lights on. Ooh, you're not alone? <sighs> my head. You can't come in here! Hear me, you snot! You're not allowed here! For a moment I thought I was struck, but no, I think it's just a bad memory. Ah! What's wrong with me? Oh. They said it wouldn't happen. I what the hell? Oh. I need to find an tear. <laughs> Stop interrupting yourself. What happened? Looks like a hurricane went through here. Uh yes, it kinda does, actually. You are not alone. Someone is playing with me. And what is this? To Jacob Hyde. Yeah, old cheapskate. A man's life ain't worth nothing to you? I ain't asked you for- I remember reading this uh, in the beta, actually. This was somewhere else. I think this was inside the inn. Uh, anyway, yeah, I ain't asked you for no $500 or $1,000. I just want a small sum, but you don't want to give me no dime. After what happened to my husband who gave his life for your sake? I ain't leaving it like that. You got my word, said Maria. Right. Okay. Uh, just out of interest, did it save how much- Yeah, I guess, yeah. 
I've still got the same amount of kerosene and matches. Uh, an ungodly amount of matches, really. And what have we got here? Alright. A broken watch. Oh, again! I remember looking at this. But not here. Right, yes. I clearly remember the day when I accidentally knocked the watch off the table. My father literally stopped dead in his tracks. I expected to get a hell of a beating, but he only gathered all the metal parts with shaking hands and walked to the bedroom where he then spent the rest of the day trying to fix it. The watch stopped working for good, but my father never threw it away. He tried to fix it time and again, but to no avail. Hmm. Just throw it away. <laughs> yeah, so not all the important items we keep. Through here? Is this how we get out? Uh, looks like a, a literal broom closet. That's not the moonlight doing that, is it? Ah. Okay. Um, let's grab the matches. And let's go! Oh! I didn't think you could squeeze in there, to be honest. Okay. Onwards. <laughs> well, I guess the matches do come in handy every now and then. Is it safe? Probably not, but let's keep going. You're not out of breath already, are you? That match is lasting a long time. Oh. <laughs> Just those bloody rats. Um, I don't think there's any, like, going left or right or even back, but I think I'm actually heading for someone. Who's down here with me? Yeah. Wait, was that me screaming or you? I can't tell. Maybe we both just scared each other. <laughs> you see, that's what I thought was going to happen. God damn it! I feel like this house is trying to kill me. This is the office, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Search the office, okay. What's this? Ah, uh, oh, the first article about the mining accident. There it is. Okay, again, I think I read this before. What's on the back? Anything? Nothing important, but this time I'm taking it with me. Anything else? Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, maybe I would. <laughs> Come on. Oh, get out of the way. There's going to be something good in here, I just know it. Ooh, well, it's, it's something. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the kerosene oil that I want, really. Wait. Just in case. I'd rather not kill anyone. Help. Isn't that like the lockpick as well? Right, right. Okay, well, eventually we we've got the set of lockpicks. Great. Time to go to the basement and see what's behind that door. Okay, I'm with you in spirit, but uh, yeah, you can you can go by yourself. <laughs> I'm not in any rush. What's that? An amulet. Okay, something on the back. Oh yes. Could it have belonged to my father's associate, George Whitehead? Maybe he, uh, maybe he gave it to my father as a gift, or maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Let's just chuck it down there. There we are. Right. I've, uh, I've got quite a lot of kerosene and a hell of a lot of matches, so let's be off, shall we? Oh. Okay. Same system? Yeah. We're still getting tutorials and it's chapter four. That's kind of crazy. I like this, uh, I like this little minigame, to be honest. 
when it works out for me. <laughs> when it doesn't and it, you know, gets me killed, hmm, I'm not so in love with it. My mum bought it for me. I can hardly re I can hardly remember her, but this mounted soldier I remember very well. Just one look at it and my childhood comes back to me. A few years later, a bloody war broke out and I was too old for toys like that. <laughs> Go on. Nothing in there, something there there. There we go. I'm just sort of stockpiling for the uh for the future. Hope you don't mind. My father's belt. Oh, and there's a lovely hidden message on it, I bet. Oh, eventually he figured that since I got used to getting thrashed, he needed a better method of punishment. He started locking me up in the darkness for hours. Sometimes even days. Lucky you. Oh, there's some more. There you go. Can I... No. Oh, this is a very, very stiff cupboard for some reason. Ah! Oh, I've got really, really long arms. <laughs> All right, forget it. We're not getting that one open. But we are getting this door open. The basement. Let's do it. But first... <laughs> I just can't resist. Ah, never mind. Right. That's what I was expecting earlier. <laughs> no. It can't be happening. It can't be true. Why did they say I'm safe now if it's coming back? Well, uh, I don't rightfully know, I'm afraid. Right, okay. Ah, uh, so the metal door. The one round here, yeah? The one that I needed a lockpick for. Oh, go on then. Makes me feel a little bit better about sort of stockpiling all these matches. Hey, who put you back up? I thought I dragged you to the floor. Spooky. Right, so, yes. Nice. Nice. Oh. There we go, a delicate touch is what's needed. Perfect. Right, yeah, still following bloodstains. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I just like snapping planks, don't I? I should be able to get into a room from here. And the other one? No. Oh. I guess that's good enough. I wonder if I'm going to see that guy in white again. Just sort of bump into him. What? No. Oh. Isn't that the judge? <laughs> okay. <This> can't be real. <laughs> just keep on going. Let's just ignore any of that ever happened. Shit, I can't pass here. Oh. There must be another way. Um. Well. If there is another way, I, it's not here. I suppose they... I didn't hear anything, but they did actually walk towards the door, I suppose. Maybe it's open now? It's the only thing I can think of, really, unless, of course, I want to go upstairs and... Oh! I'm not dead. Yet. Is he there? He's not there. What the fuck? I don't think they were there. They were... I don't know if they were illusions or ghosts or what, but... Look at this. This is real. The 
Blood. The metal rod. These are no phantoms. I haven't lost my mind. Not this time. There we go. That is, what's that called? A peruke? Looks like Do you just one see your wig, sure. that the judges wear on their heads. There was a judge that used to come to our house. What was his name? Norton. Wait a minute. Oh. It is him. It was his death that was covered up in that newspaper. How was that possible? And the other man? The one in the hat. He locked up the judge. So maybe he did the same to my father. I'll retrace their steps. Maybe I can find out something about my father's disappearance. And about all the other missing people. Won't oh, budge. How in the world did he get away? <laughs> He's just trying to catch up, I suppose, with me trying the door. Oh, okay, so I've got a cog. Hopefully it will fit the mechanism. Right, I've got a crank as well. Just wondering if there's something else. Ooh, nice find. Uh, <laughs> me and my bloody lantern. We're very clumsy. Right, so the cog would go there. There's a mechanism blocking the door. Right. Seems like some parts are missing. Just give it a bit of a spin, unlock the door. There we are. And now we're back here. So I still can't get that open, right? Well, at least I'm out. Judge is bleeding heavily. He will look for help. I should probably look for help too, actually. But yeah, there's definitely more blood. Brighter blood too. I'm really enjoying this. Seriously, it does feel like every chapter is its own game though. And that's not actually a bad thing. Not in this case. Blood trail. I can use it to track him down. Yeah. This way? There you go. That's why I cleared the back door. Probably shouldn't have left it open, though. Do I even need this? Not really. No, it, it just shines so brightly. Thanks, moon, wherever you are. That way? Okay. <laughs> Again, sort of going to these unexplored territories that I didn't go to in the demo and the beta. Ah. Alright. Across the bridge? Just in case. There. He'll go to the inn. Ah. I thought it'd been closed many years ago. Well, doesn't really look like it anymore, does it? It's the inn. Okay. And that's going to be the beta, I assume. I think I'll, I'll play, like, the rest of this chapter, I guess. And then, um, yeah, maybe I'll call it a day. I guess I'm going to have to split this recording up because I've been playing for quite a while. Maybe I'll do, like, a couple of chapters of videos. Rounds, right? Ah, ah! Yes! It's not bad, is it? See, this is not what I was expecting from this game. Like, a weapon? I wasn't really expecting to be able to fight back. He must have known. Stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't make me do this. But he did nothing. He let him do it all. Don't waste all your ammo. Shoot him. What? Oh. He's vanished into thin air. Right. Well, he's not real, is he? Oh. <laughs> Shit, okay. Bullets Tower, are we going that way? For a yeah. while. Okay. Let's keep it going. More ammo? Great. Great stuff. Okay, is he still out there somewhere in the mist? He could be, I suppose. <laughs> that way? Yep. Over the bridge, then. Headshot. This is useless. 
will finally leave me alone. When you ask nicely. I don't remember you saying please last time. Up here. Maybe I'm going to find some more rounds or something, or... Yep, there we are. Okay, no shortage of ammo around here. Is this a regular thing at the inn? <laughs> Hellside Inn, here we go. Oh boy. Trying to catch me out when I'm reloading, are you? There you are. <laughs> See, uh, He's back again. How do I get rid of him? I don't know, just keep shooting him in the head, I guess. <laughs> and keep on finding ammo. So I can keep trying. Okay, the hillside inn didn't look too far away. Shouldn't take too long to get there, right? Just keep following the signs, I'll get there eventually. Stomach shot. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Are we going down there? We're going down there. Right. Okay. Got any more of those rounds? Oh, you do! And, yeah, it looks like a lot of kerosene as well. I've got 18 now. That's excessive. <laughs> I don't mind when he turns up, like, right here. Because he can only come from in front of me or behind, so it's easy to check. But when I'm out in the woods, it's slightly different. Oh, there you go. So yeah, it's What like, do you want? It's two shots to the stomach and he goes away, or one shot to the head. So yeah, going for the headshots is worthwhile. Yeah, I don't want to get attacked right now. listening to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds close. There we are. Yeah. Leave me alone. Uh, say please. That's all he's after. Okay, still following this blood. How much blood though? Seriously, have you lost? That's a lot. At this point, that is a lot. I suppose he doesn't really need it, does he? I hear him. And I see him. There you go. For God's sake, die! Please! For God's sake, die, please! More blood. And more signs, so yeah, we're still going in the right... Oh, I thought that was it for a moment. Yeah, we're still going in the right direction. Ah. No? Oh no. <laughs> maybe we just go through instead. Ah, well, maybe not quite yet. Oh, there we go. Right to the, uh, right to the noggin. Woe to you too, you son of a bitch. Wow, there was a lot in there. Nice. When I'm holding the gun, I'm picking up everything automatically as well, which is quite nice, actually. Ah, uh, okay. There we are. Anything round to the right? No, just keep following the blood. I like how there's not like a constant stream of blood, it's just like, I don't know, bucket loads every now and then. <laughs> there was no dripping to be done. Oh no. Oh shit, that was, that was a little closer. Ooh. That's the closest he's got with that axe of his. I wonder if it's the same one that I'm going to use later. Or that Adam's going to use later, I suppose I should say. Stay up here. Right, how are you going to deal with this? You're not. <laughs> you're... Inn not far from here. Better check that place. Right. 
Wait, okay. Oh my good. Look at all this! How many rounds do we want? I've got like 58 rounds? Christ. Pretty sure you said there was no one staying here, right? Oh. Okay. Oh. Did he just explode? Right. Whoa! I would like that ability very much! Christ. Okay. I, I, again, I wasn't expecting a boss fight, really, in a game like this. Still going for the headshots. Oh! Oh, they... Oh. Uh, oh, is there some... Shit, that was fucking close. Ah. <laughs> Did he teleport? I don't remember it being there. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Alright, I, I thought that was... I don't know, maybe it was going to singe my legs a little bit, but not fucking kill me. That was one hit as well. Fucking hell. Okay. All right. Judge Norton's not dicking around. A boss fight in the beast inside? Okay. I'm enjoying it. I just wasn't expecting it. You can file this along with the quantum localizer, I think. <laughs> okay. Oh, there was... Okay, there's a checkpoint right here, right now. Good. Okay. Am I going to get my 58 rounds again? Close to it. Yeah, 58 rounds again. Okay, and let's just make sure that, you know, this is never an issue. Okay, so, pro tip. If he explodes, run away. Yeah, definitely running away. I don't even want to get caught, like, with my heel go into that thing. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Did I get around to it? No, I didn't. Ah, damn, I interrupted my own bloody reloading. Uh, I want to, like, rush up to him and see if I can maybe hit a button to finish him off, but at the same time, I don't want to die. And that's going to fucking kill me, evidently. He disappears, doesn't he? And he comes back with a fucking vengeance. Can I? Was I hitting him there? It didn't look the same. Run, run! Where is he? Oh, fuck! I genuinely didn't see him there. And I'm not... Okay, one hit. With, uh, with the axe does not kill me, I'm glad to say. I think I'm just wasting rounds shooting him like this, to be, to be honest, so I'm just going to sort of run around. Oh, got him! Well, now I haven't. Now he's a necromancer or something, or a fucking mage! What? What's going on here? What the fuck? And he's still exploding. And throwing axes as well. Not that it would have mattered, I don't think, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Ooh, you're summoning hellfire underneath me? Okay. Oh, he was there a moment ago. Okay, this is actually a little bit harder than I was expecting. I guess I just keep shooting, right? Oh! Nice. That's not how I thought it was going to go. 
I'm kind of subverting my own expectations because I played the demo and the beta. Is it safe to approach what's left of him? There's nothing left of him. Damn. Could've used that axe. Ah! Oh, and now no one's watching. Yeah, party's over, right? Yeah. Worse than the bloody Romans looking at gladiator battles, you lot. Right! Let's go into the inn. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's very well furnished. Hopefully I don't get that room. Uh, right, yeah. That's it. Where did everyone go? I heard them. Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> huh. Like father. It is you that should have died then! <laughs> And now we're moving on to chapter five. So this is where I'm going to end, I guess, part two of The Beast Inside. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, this game is surprising me in some rather amazing ways. Hopefully it's going to continue to do so as we re-explore the inn that I went through in the beta. See you next time in part three. Where have you been? Engrossed. She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. <laughs> You know, that sounds oddly specific. Did you? And there's also that axe. You hear that, Emma? There's also an axe. <laughs> Let's go down. <laughs> Let's go down without breaking your neck. I bet it's chiming has startled many people. It certainly did. <laughs> Wait, there's another one. Oh man, I've got choices. <laughs> so what? Oh man, there's so many options. Ah, oh, I was just gonna say, you need to come and look at this shit. Look at what I got. Is that? Fuck. <laughs> Is there a bomb Wait, inside the deer? Beeping. There we go. I'm, <laughs> I'm somehow doing it through the door. Don't question it. Just observe and appreciate that I did it. What? Don't you dare. No. I, I honestly have no idea how there's that much paint on that thing. What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? Oh! Man! Oh god, it's the 70s. Yeah, let's see, you know, how I've, uh... Oh, sorry, how we've decorated the place. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. That wasn't it? I think we might be onto something, or that this is one hell of a coincidence. Right of me, I know, it. I know man, one, I'm doing five, it! You're doing three. it! And... No one but yourself. Ha! I did it! Sounds... ominous. Oh no. no. You're not alone? <sighs> they said it wouldn't happen. I what the hell? Oh. I need to find an deer. <laughs> Stop interrupting yourself. Well, I guess the matches do come in handy every now and then. <laughs> oh, I've got really, really long arms. <laughs> All right, forget it. We're not getting that one open. It's the only thing I can think of, really, unless, of course, I want to go upstairs and. Oh! We'll finally get along. When you ask nicely. I don't remember you saying please last time. Leave me alone! Ah, say please! Right, how are you gonna deal with this? You're not. <laughs> Pretty sure you said there was no one staying here, right? Whoa! I would like that ability very much! Is there some. Shit, that was fucking close! Oh, shoot! Okay. Okay, so, pro tip. If he explodes, run away. Oh, got him! Well, no, I haven't. Could've used that axe. Ah. 
Oh, and now no one's watching. Yeah, party's over, right? Yeah.